Hey guys, Kiwi here. In this video, I'll be breaking down and analyzing the new cover reveal for issue 178 of the Walking Dead comics, along with predicting what we should expect from the New World Order Part 4 of 6. With that being said, warning of spoilers for everything in the comics up to the most recent issue, issue number 175, and let's jump right into it. Now, since the Walking Dead comics are just pages in a book and not a full-on TV show, they can't really release a 30-second promo trailer like what the show does, but instead they release covers for future issues in advance as like a tease of what to expect in order to get the fans talking. I believe that issue 178 won't actually be coming out until April 2018, but that gives us plenty of time to speculate and theorize on what could possibly be going on here. Considering I'm getting more into comic book videos since the introduction of A New World Order, I figured that I'd give my two cents on this new cover reveal, which actually features the princess fighting a bunch of commonwealth soldiers. At first glance, this kind of made me roll my eyes and think, oh boy, what has she gotten herself into? Now, up until this point, the commonwealth has been very civilized and systematic, and considering that we know there is 50,000 people in the commonwealth, they probably follow protocol very strictly in order to keep everything safe and under control. I could see the princess simply giving some soldier a hard time, causing them to attack her, but what could she say or do to a group of commonwealth soldiers that would cause them all to attack her like this? And it doesn't seem like they have any weapons out, so it's not like this is a life and death situation, but did she say something to piss them off, or did she do something to offend them in their way of life? Issue 177, the cover actually shows a new character that we haven't met yet by the name of Officer Mercer, so does this Mercer character have something to do with uh, what the princess is up to as well, since he's probably in command of all the soldiers in white armor? So the princess could be pissing them off due to her smart ass loopy attitude, or they could just be sparring for fun. Once again, it doesn't seem like any of the commonwealth soldiers on the cover are pointing their guns at her, or even motioning towards grabbing their guns, so they're definitely just trying to get the upper hand on her, either by detaining her or just disarming her. Now if you remember, during their initial introduction process with Lance, he stated that he'd have to take the princess aside later for a separate evaluation, so is this the outcome of that? She was alone for so long, Lance may ask her how she survived by herself, to which she may brag or talk herself up about being really good in combat, so this could be them trying to get her to prove it? Is the princess secretly a badass at hand-to-hand -hand combat? I guess she looks pretty badass on the cover, and she seems confident about going against six commonwealth soldiers at once apparently, but I always assume assumed that she was a badass with a gun, not a badass with a stick, but I guess who says she can't be both? What do you guys think about the princess? Are you a fan? Do you think she has potential? Or is she just a waste of time? I've seen many people mentioning that they actually aren't a fan of the princess, but I feel indifferent about her to be honest. She gets a chuckle out of me every now and then, but most of her dialogue does make me cringe. It seems as though they're just trying to be out there with a new female character, but it almost seems like they're just creating a female counterpart to Negan, at least his personality. It honestly seems like she has the same sense of humor as him, and I could see them turning out to be great friends. I imagine the princess laughing at Negan's dialogue when no one else would, and vice versa, I could see Negan appreciating and acknowledging what the princess says instead of what everyone else does when they just sort of roll their eyes at her. Let me know what you guys think about the princess down below, along with how she'll play an important role into this New World Order story arc. I hope that if she's utilized a lot, she'll actually create an interesting arc around herself instead of just being a waste of time, because I'm honestly more excited to see the new Commonwealth community than I am to see her, but if they balance the two properly, I do see it working out well. I'd appreciate a like on the video if you've enjoyed anything I've said today, or even subscribe for more Walking Dead content in the near future. And if you'd like to take that extra step in helping support my videos, consider checking out my Patreon where there's a bunch of different rewards involving the channel, such as a chance to directly influence the videos being produced. It isn't necessary by any means, but it could really help in the long run, especially considering how unstable YouTube is nowadays. But as always, I thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.